I've had it up to my hairline with this mess. A good sweeping up never hurt anyone. Yes, you two, quit monkeying around. Everybody hop to it. Hey, guys, would you like to take a break for some fruit? Here you go. One green banana coming up. <laughs> I love the green ones. Thanks, Mowgli. That's nice of you, Mowgli. What do they all see in him? What's going on here? <laughs> Hi, Marsha. Here, would you like a... Nya, 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 Mowgli. No, thank you, Mowgli. Can't you see we're busy here? Go on, run along. Looks like it's not all fun and games with the monkeys. Not much of a party around here today. Party time! Party time! Party time! Party time. Party time. Ah! party time? Party time? It's so easy to be popular when... Hey! Why don't I throw a party, huh? Ah. A party of my own! Right here for all the animals, hmm? Am I dreaming or did Marsha say party? Listen up, all you animals. Big and small, Marsha speaking. I'm throwing a big party. Marsha? Oh, um, little one's sick. What little one? Ah. Yoo-hoo! How about a giant party with non-stop games and fun? Will Mowgli be there? No. I've already got plans. Hey, I'm free. Can I come? Will ah. there be snacks? I'm having a party. Anyone there? You all had better show up. It's gonna be a barrel of laughs. Is Mowgli going? Shh. <laughs> Ponya, you're coming to my party? Uh, is Mowgli going? <laughs> is Mowgli going? Is Mowgli going? Is that all they care about? I can come. C can I come? Huh? Can I? Um, you did say there might be snacks, right? <laughs> wow, you look down. Why the long face? How come you're so popular? I was gonna throw a big party, but... A party? Wow! What a great idea! Do you really think so? Sure I do. So that's what all the sweeping was for. Uh, yeah, yeah, put it off. Nobody's gonna come. What do you mean? Nobody turns down a party invitation. Wait, I've got an idea. You get everything ready. It's a lot of work and you're great at that. Well, that is true. I am pretty good at organizing things. While I take care of the invitations. Hmm. <laughs> All right, you're on. Go on, then. Get to work. Hello. Who's in the burrow? Polish your whiskers. The monkeys are having a huge party tonight. Oh, I'll be there, Mowgli. Hey, up there. Come and shake your tail feathers at Marsha's party tonight. My feet are already twitching. Ooh, boo. Come on, don't be shy. There's a party tonight. Time to come out of your shells. <laughs> 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 See you all at the cold there. They're all going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> all these flowers are beautiful. Back so soon. Guess what? Everyone's coming. Everyone? Really? Even Vera, Ravi and Ponya? Yeah, everyone. Great news, right? <laughs> Like no one would ever turn you down, huh? What do you mean? Let me explain. You are not invited. That's right, man cub. You aren't welcome at a party for animals. But you're... you're joking, right? Thanks for everything. Now buzz off. I've got work to do. It's just not fair. Well, you know Marsha. She has her bad days. But there'll be other parties. I'm gonna boycott her party. No one's gonna go when I tell them what she's done. No, you'll ruin everything and then no one will have any fun. You'll go, won't you, Baloo? There'll be loads of good things to eat. And you won't say anything either, Baggy. Hmm, fine. 
He'll be all right. He just needs to be alone for a while. And there'll be games and decorations. It's going to be a, a crazy party, Master. You fool. Keep that up and I'll show you crazy. A real feast fit for a king like you, Master. And they'll all be there. Well, all except Mowgli. He's not invited. But all the others will be there. Perfect. I can already hear bones snapping. Remind me to thank Masha. More to the right. <laughs> Shere Khan, he's planning to devour you all tonight. You've got to cancel the party. Cancel the party? <laughs> and why is he coming? Did you invite him? Enough of your jokes, Mowgli. You're just jealous. It's pathetic. Through listening to you. Go on, beat it. It's just not the same. Wow. wow! Who's that? Do you know him? But who organized this luxurious party? Uh, I did. I'm Marsha. Welcome. I am Mao, the envoy of the Northern Macaques. Well, for the love of a bear, a Northern Macaque. <gasps> What a lovely idea. Uh, <laughs> there's also loads of games to play. Well, you see, I'm quite hungry. An exotic dish will make a nice change. Aha! You must be the great Shere Khan. You're famous all along the northern shores. We've been waiting for you. Do I know you? You remind me of someone. May the games begin! Throw a garland around the head of Shere Khan the Magnificent to win. <laughs> You're going to pay for this. the party. But Mowgli? Why, the pleasure's all mine, Marsha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mowgli! He's, He's the mystery, mystery guest. guest. Bravo! Bravo. Good Bravo. One, Marsha. What a great surprise! surprise. <laughs> well, that was some surprise. Uh, sorry, Mowgli. Concerning Shere Khan, I should have listened to you. Um, I wanted to tell you that I, I didn't invite you because I was jealous. You're so popular and I'm... Uh, well, never mind. Uh, uh. <laughs> Party on! <laughs> 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 Little Chota, you'll have lots of friends to play with. Friends? 
Who? Well, um, there's one oh. called, um... Do they like running and climbing trees or rolling in the mud? They love it and stalking preys, uh. capturing them and eating them. Uh, no, they do that for a joke. We're friends. Over there. Come on. Hey, Chota, what are you doing here? Tabaki's friend. Oh, really? Tabaki's got friends? Apart from Shere Khan? There are some newcomers in the jungle. You wouldn't want to stop the cub from having some fun, would you? Aha! I see the future! I see your future, Tabaki! Ha 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 ha! Sure you do! I see that you wanted to give Chota to Shere Khan because he's the only friend you've got. To Shere Khan? Ha ha ha! And I also foresee very soon your sly little jackal's head will smash into that big tree there! Ha! Loudly the soothsayer! That's a good one! Ow! is pretty neat. What happened? And how did you know? Because I can tell the future. And I can tell you now that the sky is going to fall on your head. Uh, oh. <laughs> I did warn you. Mowgli's a soothsayer. <gasps> Mowgli's a soothsayer. Ah, oh, that's not going to find me any food. I can see... I can see yams for my friend Rana. <laughs> Near a rock. Over there! Wow! Mowgli, you're a real soothsayer! Incredible! <laughs> you put your hands on your head, you close your eyes, and you can tell the future? Hey, soothsayer! Did you guess what we were going to throw at you? <laughs> I foresee that you are going to quarrel very shortly. I'd like to see that. We never quarrel. And I can see that one of you is more stupid than the others. That's easy. I'm the most stupid. Oh, no, you're not. I am. Look. I'm the stupidest. No, I am. No, I am. I'm, I'm the stupidest. I am. I am. I am. I am. No, I am. I am. <laughs> Where's the tiger cub? I'm hungry. It was Mowgli the soothsayer who ruined my plan, Master. Mowgli the soothsayer? Is that some kind of joke? It's the truth. I heard and saw it with mine own eyes. Mowgli can predict anything. What did the man cub tell you? That you were going to become smart and... I couldn't be smarter than you, Master. But with that kind of power, Mowgli could become the king of the jungle. Yes, sure. I know. I'll ask him to tell my future, because I already know his. <laughs> you can predict anything. Can you tell us how many chicks we're going to have? Oh. It's so we can choose a nest. We may have to think about a bigger one. Well, they're going to be small, because you're not very big. <laughs> I see some boisterous little chicks. What? Are they going to get up to a lot of mischief? Uh, no. I mean, they'll be playful. Just like me when I was their age. You'd better get a big nest. Chicks take up a lot of room. Thank you for your predictions, Mowgli. <sighs> I dreamt that I was with Bella, and I hugged her. Great. I dreamt that a bear was hugging me. Hmm. It looks like you were a bit hungry. Did you pick all that? I don't need to. I'm a great soothsayer. That's why I've got all these gifts. Let her thank me. A soothsayer? No kidding. And it came to you just like that? You get them to give you fruit in exchange for your predictions? Not at all. I don't ask for anything. Besides, I only tell them the truth. Oh, yeah? If you're smarter than everyone else, <laughs> tell me my future. It's not my fault if I... Don't tell me that I'm going to turn into a big bee and start <laughs> making honey for Baloo. What I've told the others gives them pleasure. What's more, I've never made a mistake. Have you foreseen our common future, oh great soothsayer? Did you know we were going fishing today? Not if you make fun of me. <laughs> All right, we'll leave you with your coconuts. <laughs> What's more, it's not true. There aren't even any coconuts. S Quick, Baloo, I feel like I'm turning into a bee. So, Mowgli, I suppose that you foresaw my arrival, didn't you, my little man-cub soothsayer? Do you want me to tell you your fortune? There's no point. I can guess mine and yours. If you eat the soothsayer, you'll never learn your future. 
Don't you want to know if you'll stay king of the jungle? Hmm, maybe you're right. Go on then, I'm listening. In order to read the future of a tiger as powerful as yourself, I need something you bring to me. You mean an offering? Yes, a coconut. <laughs> ah. Come on, into the water, future Big B. All right, you'll get your coconut. Well, did Mowgli the soothsayer predict something extraordinary for you, Master? He needs a coconut to tell my fortune, and I need to get Baloo and Bagheera away from here. An excellent choice. You could take him two coconuts. That way he could tell me my fortune at the same time. Poor fool. I've never believed in Mowgli's powers for a second. What? But why? I'm going to set a trap for the man-cub with his stupid coconut. But he can't do that. Mowgli will know. He... Oh, oh, this is going to end badly. Ooh, oh. I see that your memory can only get better. Really? Have I got a problem with my memory? I don't know anything about coconuts. Come with me. You'll help me to choose one. It's not far away. <laughs> I've got a bad premonition about this soothsaying business. Maybe you're right. Let's go and tell him to stop this whole bad joke. See, there are plenty. Pick the best one to read into my future. I need that one. It'll be perfect to read the future of the King of the Jungle. Where are you going, man cub? I was, uh, looking for your coconut. I love exotic dishes. Man cub with coconut. What are you doing there, Darcy? And where's Mowgli? He went that way, or that way. I can't remember. Did he leave alone? Yes. He predicted that my memory would get better. Did you know that Shere Khan liked coconuts? You saw Shere Khan? <sighs> well, my future. I'm listening. Hey, Mowgli, you wouldn't like to tell me my future, too. Just a little snippet. I see. I see a new king of the jungle. It won't be Shere Khan anymore. I see. I see a great danger. Ooh, it's scary. What's scary? That you end up in my stomach? No, something much worse for you. Oh, yes. What, my cave destroyed, perhaps? <laughs> huh? That's it, total destruction. Oh, you're missing an amazing sight. Go and check, Tabaki. And if this is another trick, Mowgli, you'll suffer for it. They're not here. We're on the wrong track. If only we hadn't left him. But if Shere Khan has done anything to him, I'll... I'll... <gasps> the prediction! <gasps> I can also see... Ooh, you're going to break a leg running after a spider. Mowgli the soothsayer saw the truth, Master. Your den is in ruins. He's the new lord of the jungle now. The predictions are over, Shere Khan. Everyone go home. Did you see that, Master Mowgli? I helped you. <laughs> Are there lots of nice things going to happen to me now? I can see that. Ahem. Hmm. I see that I'm as much a soothsayer as you are a tiger. I was pretending, Tabaki. So you're not a real soothsayer? <laughs> <laughs> can you tell what is going to happen now, Mowgli? No, I don't know. As you're not a real soothsayer, we've decided that... Uh, what have we decided? That we're taking back our offerings! I see that I am a blockhead. I see that I am a good-for-nothing. I see that I am a fool. Get back! The lotuses! Say it, Blue! 
Huh? What? Who? The Lotuses! <laughs> They're here! Super! You said so? Oh, pipe down! Same old fuss every single year. How long are you going to keep up this racket? <laughs> the Lotuses are back! <laughs> you know what that means. It means that sunny days are back again. Goodbye, monsoon. Hello, sunshine. Longer afternoons. Hello, King's Race Contest. To celebrate the start of the dry season, the first animal who brings back an entire lotus to the judge of the contest is crowned king for a day, and a party is organized in his honor. Off you go. I do hope you at least know where you're going. Lotuses can bloom anywhere. We're running against the wind that blew the petals here to locate the first flowers. No way you can win, Mowgli. With my infallible sense of smell, I'll find those lotuses way before you. Uh, uh, a pepper tree. Uh, You're going to win thanks to your amazing sense of smell, right? <laughs> I'm keeping these pepper grains to season the king's feast that awaits me this evening. Phooey! That won't stop me from win- Achoo! See you later! At my party! Achoo! Achoo! Are you okay, Bagheera? It'll pass. Nothing serious. But now Mowgli's ahead of me in the king's race! Oh yes, we heard about the lotus blooming. Such a shame we can't take part in the race. But there's no way we can compete against your speed. And yet, we would have stood a good chance. Better than good, I'd say. We'd have had a head start. That's the advantage of being old. We've known many, many dry seasons. And many, many bloomings. We've seen so many lotus bloomings that we know the best spots. You know where to find them? We can show you if you like. The lotuses have bloomed! Master, the lotuses have bloomed. You're overjoyed about telling me that stupid information? I hate this cursed race. There is only one king in this jungle, and that's me. Uh, I agree with you, Master, but it's a competition, and all those animals are running alone. Hm. Which means the man cub is running all by himself in the jungle. All these years? Why didn't I think of that before? Don't worry, until today I myself... Ow! Couldn't you have thought of it earlier, is it? And to think that I sent Kalu off to explore new hunting territory on the other side of the jungle. How will I found Mowgli without him? You don't need that noisy show-off of a crow when you can dispose of the intelligence, resourcefulness and... Ow! I have a solution. The lotuses have bloomed! What? Who? Ravi, what is... Oh. Do you think you frighten me, you flea-ridden fur bag? You'd better let go of my Ravi right now, Ra! Well, it's been a hard winter, with barely more than the feathers on our bones. Hardly a worthwhile meal, you see. Just telling you for your sake. We've already eaten, but we never say no to a little dessert. Unless you'd like to show us a patch of lotuses, for example. But birds never take part in the king's race. That would be cheating. We don't know where. I'll find it. I'll find it. Hmm. You see, Master, no need for that idiotic crow, whose usefulness has always seemed overrated to me. Ow! Don't congratulate yourself too soon. We haven't succeeded yet. The lotuses have bloomed! The lotuses are back! Achoo! Now that I've brought you here, release Ravi! You promised! We're not done yet. I have another job for you. Find Mowgli for me. I will certainly not help you to! Oh, when will this be over? <laughs> All right, but then you let Ravi go. The perfect place for an ambush. Make sure that the man-child comes along that way. You can count on me, Master. I'm not the sort who needs to be told to... Ow! Give me that bird. Go find the man-cub for me. Ah, Mowgli. Good timing. 
Do you know where I can find some psyllium seeds? Psyllium? You're not looking for a lotus? Huh? No. I have no time to take part in the king's race. Lolly's got a stomachache, and Akila sent me to find something to make her better. Oh, right. It's just that I saw your paw prints over there, and since you've got such a great sense of smell, I hoped you were following a lead. I think that this time I've lost for good. I know where we can find psyllium plants. <laughs> This will cure Lolly in no time at all. Got to leave you now. I'm back in the race again. Yeah! I won! I get the crown as queen for a day! You won what? Do you see any lotuses? Well, there were supposed to be lotuses here. Why did you think that? Who told you? Nobody. I... See you later, Fleabag. I'm going to pick a lotus. Do you think you can get rid of me that easily? Who told you where to look? <sighs> the lotuses have bloomed! <laughs> Mowgli is right there. On the other side. That's enough. I don't need you anymore. You can go. See? I told you they'd bloom here first this year. Well, it was a very good idea to give everyone else a false lead. <laughs> <laughs> Shere Khan. Tabaki says you can let Ravi go now. Tabaki says what I can and can't do? No, he didn't say it like that. No, in fact, he didn't say it at all. It's just that you must have such an awful lot to do. We don't want to bother you any longer. You two are so puny, there's not a decent bone to nibble on. If you warn the man cub, I'm coming after you. What can we do? Mowgli's in danger, but we can't breathe a word. Shere Khan didn't say we couldn't tell someone else. Come on. No lotuses. Ooh and Boo will feel bad when they learn they were wrong. Did those turtles tell you to look here? Ah, the cunning creatures. Bagheera! Bagheera! Quick, Mowgli needs help. Yes! <gasps> you really oughtn't walk through the jungle all by yourself, man-cub. We should do something. But do what? <laughs> Stop me with your little toothpick. Sorry, Shere Khan, but today is my special day. Not yours. Now's our chance. Where are you running to like that, man cub? Come on, we still have time. How about making the sides even? <laughs> Because you think you can make a difference? Yes, indeed. Achoo! Achoo! Quick, Baggy! Let's each grab a flower and get out of here! You'll pay for this! You weakling! The lotuses! They're here! Thank you, Chill. Not at all! And thank you for showing me those new hunting grounds! allowed to take part in the king's race. Oh, but Chiel didn't take part. He didn't help us find the lotus. And he didn't help us pick it. Nothing forbids a contestant from using whatever means of locomotion he can to compete. You gave false clues to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the turtles may have bent the rules a little, but they didn't cheat. I declare you both the winners of this year's king's race. I did it. I told everyone the news. Oh, Oh dear, I actually forgot to run the race! <laughs> <laughs>
That scavenger's just arrived in the jungle. He's been lurking around here for the past few days. I don't like it one little bit. The scent of this red flower is slightly lemony. The scent of this yellow flower is a little less acidic. Can you smell the difference, Mowgli? Close your eyes. Which flower is it? Uh, the red one? <laughs> your turn. The yellow one? The red one. Yeah, okay, nice going. Maybe my sense of smell is not as good as yours, but I've got my own ways of recognizing flowers. I look at their shapes, their colors. Ah! Oh, quick, he's coming! Where did those devils go? They've woken me up four times during my nap, and they think it's funny. Harjeet certainly has an infernal knack for bringing a stink to everything and anyone around him. Do you think we lost him? Ah, oh, that dreadful smell is still hanging in the air. He can't be far behind us. No, it can't be him. No animal smells that bad. Come on. Wait, not that way. We'll end up too close to Shere Khan. Don't worry. I know a shortcut along the edge of his territory. Ah, here's my favorite. What a delight. There's nothing like it, is there? Uh. Nothing like it. It smells just as bad as over there. I can't smell its usual scent. Mowgli, help me. I can't tell which is the ripest mango anymore. Well, um, hmm. Feel them. This one is all soft. It's got to be the ripest. You can eat this one for sure. Thanks. It's so tasty. That dreadful smell spread everywhere. Uh, Mowgli, Baba and Lali aren't with you? No, they're playing with Harjeet. Playing or driving him crazy? <laughs> My nose tells me Harjeet's angry. Even when Harjeet kicks up a big stink, he doesn't normally smell this bad. How will I find my two little ones? This stench has caused me to lose my sense of smell. Me too. We'd better stay alert. I wouldn't even recognize my own scent if I bumped into myself. <laughs> Don't worry, Raksha. There are other ways to find Bala and Lolly. Bala! Lolly! Say something! Show yourselves! There! What? Look! Shortcut? Now we're lost. Don't blame me. It's Hajit's stench. Hajit? Are you kidding? He's miles away. We've come too close to Shere Khan's territory. I'll bet it's the carcasses of all his prey that reeks so badly. Shut up or you'll get us caught. I don't want to be his next victim. <gasps> I'm scared. Get us out of here. You've got some nerve coming to mock me on my own territory. Collow the Crow at your service, Shere Khan. Your fame spreads beyond the jungle. I'm thinking of settling in the area and I've come to propose a deal. A deal? I'll help you hunt your prey and in return, you leave me the leftovers. <laughs> I got to tell you, you're no use to me at all. <laughs> you see, there's only one animal in this jungle that Shere Khan trusts. Me! Keep your distance, you scrawny little jerkle! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Enough, Tabaki. Follow me. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Where Bowl and Lolly? They got away. Wait till I get my paws on them, Al. That banana's totally rotten. Doesn't seem to have any smell at all. Uh, Harjeet's not the one causing the stink. He's lost his sense of smell, too. Okay, let's split up. Baggy will go with Raksha to find Lolly and Bala. 
Baloo and I will go and try to find where that horrible smell is coming from. The birds, the birds from high up, they can see far and wide. And they're not affected by the smell. Chill, Darcy! This way, Darcy! But it stinks down there! <laughs> oh, all right. What a stench! I can't smell those wolf cubs! Tabaki! What's that smell? Wasn't me, though, Master, I swear! Where are those tasty wolf cubs? Start looking, imbecile! My offer still stands, boss. It would be a shame to miss today's special offer. Catch one wolf cub, get another free. You've missed them by the whisker twice already. <laughs> but hey, if you're not hungry... Not so fast, Mr. Know-it-all. You've got one chance to prove your worth. the ravine. This is the third time we've been here. Do you like leading me around by the nose like this? Well, where are they? Yeah, where they at? You lost them. Kalu the expert, eh? Kalu the nitwit is more like it. They're hiding, but I'll find them. You'd better. There's something at the bottom of the big waterfall. It's down there. Some kind of gigantic flower that... <coughs> Thanks, Chill. Baloo and I can take it from here. I'm going to find Darcy. This way, Bagheera. That's the fourth time we've been past here. Those wretched wolf cubs won't stay still. Kids, huh? <laughs> there they are. Straight ahead. Go. On the left. Straight ahead. On the left. To the right. Down below. Straight ahead. On the left. Down below. To the right. No, on the left. Soon, Tweety. Yes! No, I'll stop when you stop. Watch out, Darcy! Can't I count on anyone? I'm stuck between a jackal with the jitters and a big mouthed bird. Follow me. <laughs> Quick, Shere Khan is likely near. Where is the exit? There it is! Look, it's growing out of a tree trunk. It must have floated down the river and washed up here. Let's push it back into the water so it can go and stink somewhere else. I wonder if it could be an Aram Titan, a gigantic flower from Sumatra. It's come a long way. It stinks for three days when it blooms. But I never would have guessed it could totally wipe out an animal's sense of smell. This is no time for a botany lesson. Three days, you say? Help me! <sighs> oh, what a relief. Can you smell anything? <laughs> That's wonderful. I can make out all the jungle's subtle smells once again. Me too. It's great. Uh, but that means that everyone's sense of smell will be back now, including Shere Khan. <laughs> What are we going to do if we can't hunt anymore? I've got an idea. <sighs> Not so fast. Miserable snifflers, you don't scare me. Then you don't scare us, Shere Khan! There you are. Out of my sight, you worthless, good-for-nothing man grub! As for that cursed crew, I'd better not catch him flapping on my territory again. That bird certainly hatched out of nowhere. We'll have to keep our eyes on him. I'll keep an eye on him. Ah, my beloved flowers. I'm so happy I can smell your pleasant aromas again. Tomorrow, we'll go and study that stinky flower up close. It must have washed up near the Great Lake. Huh? 
We're all set if we've got these. You sure it can't wait another two days, Blue? <laughs> Time, Time for cordiality. cordiality. It's, it's Friendship Day. day. Time, Time for generosity. generosity. I can't wait to be there. Yes, we will have so much fun. And I won't have to listen to you singing anymore. It's Friendship, friendship Day. day. Oh. Time, Time for cordiality. cordiality. It's Friendship Day. Time for cordiality. Happy Friendship Day! <laughs> but, Master, that was a gift. Today is Friendship Day. You will never be my friend. Do you think a rotten little cadaver could seal our friendship? And I couldn't care less about this celebration. It's a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Like it could touch the sun. This Friendship Day party will be fantastic. Hurry up. The others will be here soon. Others? But I wasn't invited, was I? Come back here, you thief. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch this. I won't tell. I didn't hear a thing. But we have to start all over again. So you were trying to steal our bananas, you smelly badger? I'm not a smelly badger, and I just wanted to borrow a banana or two. Borrow a banana or two? It's supposed to be friendship day today, right? Yes, but you surely don't imagine I'd ever want to be friends with a badger. You were not invited to our celebration. You smell too awful, you hairy thing. Go play with your smelly friends. And you put that stack of bananas up again. Oh. So, you weren't invited either. Go away! Easy. You and I are on the same team, you know. Oh, yeah? Which one is that? The ones who weren't invited. What's that supposed to mean? It's always been like that. They chase us badgers away because of our smell. Clear off! What a shame. I had a super plan to teach these monkeys a lesson. So, what's your super plan? Block the monkeys' access to bananas and force them to obey us. Mmm. They'll be very sorry they didn't invite us to their rotten party. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friendship Day, time for cordiality. It's Friendship Day, time for generosity. What's the matter? It's got into my head now. That was very clever of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's swing it! Do, 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 do. So, you're ready? Ready to show those monkeys what you're made of? Yeah! yeah! So, when I say three... Everyone in position! Yeah! yeah! Oh, I said on three! <laughs> wow. wow! Security, I have to check your identity. We've had trouble with banana thieves. Hey, it's us, Baloo, Bagheera and Mowgli. <gasps> <laughs> Security barrier crashed! Red alert! I don't want to see this! I won't say anything! I didn't hear a thing! I reached it for himself! Are those badgers blocking off the banana pyramid? Or am I dreaming? Why are you doing this? We work for our boss! Your boss? Me! These are our bananas! This is our friendship party and... You are not invited. If you want to recuperate any bananas... You'll have to do us some favours. I'm the one who had that idea. You call that an idea? Turn us into your slaves? You're both completely crazy. If that's how it is, we're taking those bananas back ourselves! Something, you useless creatures! My bananas! The badgers are not useless creatures! Do something, Harjeet! Can't you see the tabaki is using you and the badgers? Are you insinuating that I'm incapable of commanding alone? Badgers, give your all! Give even what you don't have! <gasps> That's up to me to decide! Shut up, 
you, Jackal. You've said enough. <laughs> you prepare to fire the deadly stench. One, two, three, go! It's impossible to get out of here. Let us out! We should all be having a party instead of fighting. You should have thought about that earlier. You are all prisoners now, and that's that. Master Tabaki's orders. No, those orders were from Master Haji. What's that? Isn't Tabaki our master? I think I know a way to get everything back to normal. Shia Khan! We can't just give up like this. We have to do something. I never thought I'd be riding on a panther one day. Don't forget that it's only because it was an emergency. Come on, Baloo! You can do it! If we attack from the south, we could take them by surprise, and we'll find Masha. Shere Khan! You've run straight into the tiger's mouth. That's very nice of you. I've come to ask for your help. Help? Why should I help you when you have delivered yourself to me? And I'm dying to eat you and hear your bones crack under my fangs. Because your jackal thinks he's the king of the jungle. He reigns over the monkeys, the badgers, Baloo and Bagheera. He's taking your place as the king of the jungle. I don't believe a word of what you say. He couldn't even catch a maggot by himself. Come and see for yourself. If you don't believe me, your ridiculous, servile tabacky is becoming the master of the jungle. Hajit! I'm hungry. Go fetch me a tasty meal. Who do you think you are, my boss? You're just a loser. You can never be a leader unlike me. You must be joking. You can't even defend yourself. This cute little jackal always needs his daddy, Shere Khan. Right then. The path is clear! You can come out! I've always wanted to eat a badger, and how convenient! I've just sharpened my claws. As you're the boss, it's up to you to protect us! Uh, no. They're the plotters. I had nothing to do with this. They forced me. Associating with badgers. Haven't you learned anything from me? Traitor! I forbid you from insulting my servant. I insult whoever I want. Oh, this is his fault. Everyone hates us now, when all we wanted was to be invited to the Friendship Day party. The badgers weren't invited to the party? Uh, well, no, they weren't. They smell too awful, Mowgli. <laughs> Thank you for helping us. That was true teamwork. We all helped each other, just as we should on Friendship Day. I promise I'll never make fun of your smell again. Well, anyway, I'll try. And for everything you've done, you are our guests of honor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's friendship. 
friendship day! Time for generosity! I'll bet Tabaki isn't having as much fun as we are right now! <laughs> <laughs>